So we need to do and we need to add in an if function. Let's go to formula. If function is allowed in what? But first we need to learn how to how to refer to the cell 914 here. And in what there are two types of cell reference. One is cell reference. So A1, B1, C1, D1, or the other one is row column reference. Row row one, column one, or row one, column four. In our case, because total is a merged cell and shipping fee is also a merged cell, so a row column reference could be more appropriate. So let's see, row number one, two, three, four, five, and column number one, two. So we will refer to this as row five, column two is uh, greater than or equal to 500 then return 0 because we will um, there will be no shipping free a fee uh, otherwise return five twenty five dollars close bracket okay okay so because this is uh, 914 is greater than 500 so the value return is zero let's try to see let's change the price and quantity around so that the total is uh, less than 500 to see if this if function works so for apple let's say i will change apple from 10 uh, 100 to 10 and uh, f9 to refresh it Uh, it is still greater than five hundred dollars. So okay, for mangoes, I will change the quantity from twenty to two. F nine, and you can see here that once the total is less than five hundred dollars, then we will automatically perform the if function and return us with twenty five dollars in shipping fee. So now all we need to do is to add in a grand total. And for grand total formula, so we need to add the total and then the shipping fee. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So row row number five and six and column number two. Okay, so row five, column two, and then row six, column two. Okay, done.